Hey guys, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. I don't even have to tell you anymore. You just know what time it is. Roll the clip. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to All Ages Geek TV, Ag TV, Agonizing TV, whatever you want to call it. And welcome to the Fandom Couch, where we sit down and spread some fandom positivities. That sounds so wrong. Fandom positivity for some of your favorite fandoms out there. We are all ages geek. We're uniting the geeks of all ages. And today, as I said before, I don't even have to tell you what we're doing right now because the title alone says it. And also the thumbnail. Yeah. We are reacting to World of Remnant Maidens. The four maidens. And this is one of them that I did miss out on. I don't even know how. Cat maiden. Oopsie. Oh, I'll have check. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, cop. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But no, this is, the, this is the reason, guys. It's like, I don't even know how I missed out on this. But this is the story of the four maidens. It's going to add more lore to the story that Osmond did tell Pyrrha back in volume three. So this is going to bring back so many memories for me, but also this is going to bring back to the time when things were okay and Pyrrha was alive and it was just up in the air if she wanted to inherit them, the fall maiden's powers. It was just up in the air, like, and now, and now we know where we are. Love this series, but it seriously knows how to destroy your emotions and your heart. Please don't watch this series if it's if you're if you're really bad with emotion, because overall I think you'll end up in the hospital. This is just a warning. But anyway, guys, hey, look who's here! It's the fandom keyboard. Shine for me, my dearest friend. Make it happen. Let it never end. Spread the fandom positivity in the world. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's get reacting. Deep in the forests of Remnant, beside a great and mighty river, stood the small, fragile home of a cold, frail man. Aw. A lone wizard. That's so sad. Why is no one taking care of him? Hidden from the dangers and distractions of the world, oh. the wizard seldom had visitors. But on Aww. this day, as he peered out his window, his gaze fell upon a young maiden. Oh. Calmly she sat beneath his tree in a state of absolute tranquility. When the wizard demanded an explanation, <laughs> the maiden simply replied, My name is Winter. Aww. I am on a journey. And I am waiting for her my name sisters. Is Winter. So, does Winter have anything to with do with that, this? She closed her eyes and sat in silence. The wizard told himself the girl was a fool, but the longer she sat, the more he wished to share in the serenity the young maiden enjoyed. In time, he grew tired so and decided to close care his of eyes him. as well, thinking on this strange predicament. Upon opening his eyes. Oh. The wizard was befuddled to find that a second maiden had appeared beneath his tree, cheerful <laughs> oh, and she's so cute. with a basket of fruit and flowers. When he asked for an explanation, the girl simply replied, My name is Spring. Oh. I am on a journey, and I am waiting for my sisters. To show her gratitude for his reluctant hospitality, the girl retrieved Aww. a handful of seeds from her basket and planted them in the wizard's garden. Oh. You just say, like, the wizard's just all alone, and, like, he has no one to take care of him, and he's old. Like, come on. I hate when the elderly, elderly is left alone. It's like, it makes me sad. That's so cool. The old hermit could hardly believe his eyes as the maiden turned what Aww. was once a mere pile of dirt and manure into a beautiful garden from which life would surely blossom. Aww. It's likely he would have gazed for hours. It's a little like a storybook, I swear. For the unfamiliar laughter he heard from beneath his tree. Oh. A young woman with a warm smile now stood beside the two maidens. The wizard begged her to introduce herself. To I like that outfit, though. My name is Summer. Yes. I'm on a journey, and I am waiting for my sister. Of course, <laughs> the wizard. But another chirp of laughter left the old man perplexed. What in the world was so funny? <laughs> As it turned out, it was him. The new arrival found the wizard's insistence on staying indoors Aww. so very amusing. Why choose this animation to is so the great. A small window when the door leading out to it was right at his side. Aww. It was a compelling argument. And after only a moment of brief hesitation, the wizard left <gasps> his home. Yay! Yay! And stepped outside. Aww. The warmth of the sun brought with it a surge of energy and life. 
And soon the wizard wasn't feeling much like himself anymore. Aww. 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 He was feeling much better. Aww. Aww. As the day drew to a close, the maidens and the wizard all settled down and prepared a feast. Winter. That's so table. sweet. Spring supplied the crops. Summer prepped the meal, and the wizard was the happiest he'd been in ages. Oh! But in all the excitement, he nearly failed to notice the delicate woman that now stood oh. beneath his tree. Oh! He smiled and beckoned her to join them, asking only for her name. My name is Fall, she replied softly. I am on a journey and am here to meet my sisters. Aww. Who are you? Me? The wizard wondered. Well, I am but an old hermit. I have lived in these woods alone for centuries, and I'm afraid my story is not very interesting, as Aww. I have no one to love and nothing to my name. The eldest sister looked up at all that surrounded them. But sir, do you not see? You have so much. Oh. It was true. With their help, it was now clear to see that the wizard had everything he could ever need. He was grateful, uh. but a question lingered in his mind. Why me? He asked. Why did the four of you choose to open my eyes? To share huh. with me your gifts? Why am I so special? The four sisters looked to one another. Finally, the eldest spoke. I beg your pardon, sir, but we did not do these things for you because you were special. We do what we can for everyone Aww. because we are able. The old wizard was at a loss. Never in his years had he come across such kindness. Aww. It was in that moment that he knew what should be done. The wizard summoned his magic, every ounce he could muster and bestowed it upon the sisters. Oh! Ah, why did this do for Oh. He smiled. Take this gift and know now that you are able to do so much more. Oh. Now armed with the elements, the very powers yes. of nature, and the unimaginable magic of the wizard, the four maidens, winter, spring, summer, and fall, promised to carry onward with their journey, using their gifts to aid others, Aww. just as they had aided him. One by one, the sisters left. But before they did, they made one final promise. What? They promised to return each and every year to visit their dear friend. All right, so it's very intriguing to me to understand why Ozpin is the one that's actually doing the narration, you know? I'm wondering why he is doing the narration, whether this was just an extra story that he did tell Pyrrha, but why did they choose Ozpin to do so? And also, like, what I'm intrigued about is how, like, it's always four. You realize that? It's like the four maidens. And, like, the spring maiden kind of looked like she was all, like, quirky and fun like Ruby. Uh, the winter one looked like she was like very, st like how, how Weiss is. Summer one kind of looked like how like she was like how Yang is, like her personality. And then um, fall was obviously, you know, how like how Blake was all like very stoic in a sense. It's like the most eldest one. So it's like, I'm, I'm just wondering if there is any like relation between Ozpin telling the story and then how he's so intrigued by Team Ruby, or this is just in general, in a sense, all about the characters. Because what I'm also wondering too is we have Summer Rose, which is Ruby's mother, so Summer. We have Winter, who is Weiss's sister, and then we have the Fall. So it's like, why are these characters named like after? Are they named after the maidens? Are they gonna have an importance to the maidens? But that was so wholesome at the end because you know what makes me upset in life is people, 
you have to realize that the elderly should always be respected and taken care of. And it breaks my heart, like every single time that we see somebody, when my mom and I, when we go food shopping or anything, and we see people like by themselves doing, like lifting all this stuff and like loading it into their cars. Like we're always there to help them. We always ask if they do need help because when they're alone and they have bad backs or anything, it's like, why isn't, why aren't their family there to take care of them? Why did their family just leave them to like, to in a way rot and die? It's like, it's not good to do that. And so what I'm glad about this is at the end, and it said he, they will always visit him at least once a year, like, because he's there alone by himself. And I understand why he probably left and locked himself away. I understand that. And how he, he said he was a hermit too. I totally understand that. But when they showed him love and kindness, oh my, that was so wholesome. That was so wholesome. It's totally another level. But I would love to know your guys' thoughts about this. This got me in tears like Ruby usually does do to me. But I love this story. There's a lot of lore to it. And I would love to question it even more about why this story is so important on the overall series that is Ruby in general. But anyway, guys, you stay weird, you stay wonderful, and you stay awesome, my friends. And until the next video, embrace your inner fangirl and your inner fanboy every single day. Bye, guys.